Stephen, let, let me follow up on that. Yeah. Obviously, you've been doing a great job, and we appreciate so much uh, what you have been doing. Uh, your stewardship has just been outstanding. But, but let me ask you this. What can minority golfing community, what can the minority golfing community do to, to assist you to, to do the, all the things you just talked about? I think, and I've, I've asked uh, people like uh, Sam Purrier, and Tiffany Fitzgerald, uh, you know, and uh, Lejean Gould, uh, help identify for me young men and women who have an interest in, in the game of golf. Mm -hmm. Or not even, you know, they may not even have an interest. Maybe they just want to be in sports. But if, if, if I can identify a person that has great energy, a great personality, you know, uh, a good work ethic, a good moral compass, I can teach you everything you need to know about the golf industry or event management or, or anything like that. So I think if the minority communities can, can help identify for me I see. candidates that might have an interest that would that would go a long way. Um, we actually, uh, uh, Sam uh, Sam recommended a gentleman uh, from his Queens College uh, a couple years ago. He came to our IRW, our intern recruiting weekend, and we brought him on board. Did a great job for us. Wow, did a great job. Uh, I don't think he wants to be in golf, but what he learned that summer. Unbelievable. Absolutely. So that, and, you know, I appreciate, you know, hey, I, I get this thing. We all have to figure out how to trust each other. Yeah. And uh, if, if the HBCUs, that's, that, that would be another thing. If the chancellors or athletic directors could get to know the AJGA a little bit better, uh, and we could, you know, talk to them and tell them about our program and they could uh, help us identify young men and women because the next person I send to the PGA Tour will be the 47th person the tour has hired from the AJGA. Goodness. Wow. Outstanding. So there's life after AJGA. <laughs> Oh, great. Wow. Well, great. well, well, uh, there's method to our madness, and that's a real reason for having this today is to spread awareness. Uh, I, I know there's so many great. out there who are unaware of what Stephen Hamlin brings uh, to the industry and to our community, and certainly that uh, identifying Stephen. You and I have talked. Oh my! For years, we've talked about how Barbara Douglas served that role for you. Uh, through time, and that maybe our diversity uh, task force collectively, we, we don't have one individual to replace a Barbara Douglas, but maybe collectively, by us connecting dots in our community, we can, we can help with that and, and fulfill that role. That's certainly something that we want to do. But now on the other side of that, you're so respected in the golf industry, I need your help on the other side of that too. I bump into so many golf industry leaders uh, through our travels and they say, I want to help. Hey, Mike, I want to get in that space and help in the DNI. Um, what, what do I need to do? So I'll ask 